So the Boston saxophone, tenor saxophone mouthpieces have been making a smashing hit in the market lately. There's so many great players playing them now, like Joel Fromm. <laughs> Ryan Devlin. <laughs> Lucas Pino. That's just to name a few. There are currently two different ones on the market right now, the first one being the S series and the newer one being the R series. Both of them are reinterpretations of old vintage mouthpieces. Keep in mind that these are not copies. Modern technology is used to manufacture these and you can get them in a variety of new tip openings that were not previously available. So let's first talk about the S series, which is what I'm opening right here. The inspiration for this was the famous vintage Selmer Solarist, hence the S in S series. The the soloist was recognized for its small horseshoe chamber, which is present here. It also has straight side walls, meaning underneath the rails on the sides, it is a straight drop down into the chamber. This combination creates a very centered core, giving you a powerful evenness across all registers of the horn. This is complemented by a low rollover baffle. If you don't already know, lowering the baffle darkens the tone quality. Now, the R series. This one was inspired by the famous vintage Autolink Rezo chamber. Here you can see that it has a big round chamber. Underneath the rails, instead of it being a straight drop, you can see that they are beveled out, meaning more material has been removed from the mouthpiece. This is balanced out by featuring more baffle, thus adding the amount of brilliance needed to project on a mouthpiece with such a big chamber like this one. This combination is going to give you an increased amount of flexibility and will allow you to push more air through it due to the large interior volume. So here they are side by side. The S series specializes in being dark, centered, and even across all registers. The R series specializes in being more spread, warm, and has a tad bit more edge in the higher registers. Now, I actually have a vintage Autolink Rezo chamber refaced by Thomas Acchiato, so I figured it'd be neat to hear all three of these side by side. It's also worth noting that the tip openings of both of the Boston Sack Shop mouthpieces are 8 star, and the vintage Rezo is a 7 star. Alright, let's go ahead and compare these. I've come to a conclusion. 
I have no conclusion. I really don't know which mouthpiece I like the most. All those mouthpieces sound great for their own reasons. The R series has a round chamber, and you know, everyone says, oh, the rounder the chamber, the darker the and warmer the sound. But this was not the case for me. But the R series still sounded awesome. The brightness was very charming. The responsiveness in all registers was great. And overall, I just really liked the sound I was getting out of that piece. And now the S series, despite its horseshoe chamber, it was actually much darker for me than the R series. Darkness and brightness is completely a matter of preference. I would have to say right out the box, I like the R series more, but I also think the S series has more potential. Using the same read, I noticed that the S series for me had a lot more resistance to it. Some people really like that resistance, some people hate it. Now with resistance, there's a trade-off. There's an advantage to resistance. The initial downside of resistance is that it's going to take more air to reach the projection that you perceive as loud. Some mouthpieces are really free-blowing where, you know, you just put in a little bit of air and just boom. But oftentimes, those kind of mouthpieces reaches a projection limit point. And past that limit, your timbre just goes <laughs> you know, just really wonky stuff. The upside to resistance is that even though it takes more air, the cap of your projection is higher. And for that reason, I think this mouthpiece has more potential for me. I'm an alto main and tenor is massive. So a tenor and a resistant mouthpiece is just a lot for me. But for people with big lungs and hopefully future me, I think this mouthpiece is a great fit if you just want this big, fat, dark sound. Ugh, I don't know. My brain hurts. I think this is the start of my mouthpiece crisis. All right, well, thank you, Jack Fanukin. Jack Fanukin is the mastermind behind all of these Boston Sax Shop products. And as always, with any Boston Sax Shop purchase, you can use code SAXOLOGIC for 10% off. All right, well, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for 125,000 subscribers. Oh, thank you. Have a good day.